Hey there, hi there, ho there, my name is Michael. Welcome back to Mike's Fire Reviews. Whoa, 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 hiccup. Just fucking threw off everything I had going on up here. Wow. My name is Michael. I'm a former bartender from the Calamans area. And today we're doing day 17 of 25 Drinks of Christmas with a variation on the Dirty Shirley, the Naughty Shirley, made special by a couple different ingredients. So a Dirty Shirley is a Shirley Temple with the addition of two ounces of vodka. And I wanted to put a bit of a Christmas spin on it. So we've got a seasonal ingredient here that'll be fun to use. And uh, one that you can make in your own house as well. So. Let's not dawdle, let's just jump straight into it. I wanna get this one done, this is gonna be fun. You'll need everything you see in front of you here, uh, starting with two limes, one for garnish, one for juice, uh, some Blanco tequila, cherries, uh, cocktail cherries for garnish, uh, this spiced limited edition, excuse me, limited edition winter spiced cranberry Sprite. Y'all want a Sprite cranberry? Yeah, you'll need cranberry Sprite. Uh, and then uh, what's in this bottle here, which is just um, grenadine, which is uh, two parts sugar, one part pomegranate juice. It looks different from Roses because Roses doesn't use pomegranate juice. They use pomegranate flavoring and food dye. Make this yourself, it's like way better. It's gonna be so much better. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, a dirty Shirley, or in this case a naughty Shirley, can be made directly in the glass, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by getting a full ounce of lime juice in here. And just squeeze that directly into our, our Collins glass. Next up, we need an ounce of a grenadine. I made this fresh this morning, it's gonna be great. Full ounce of grenadine right there. Next up, we're going to need two ounces of Blanco tequila. I'm using Salsa, which is pretty low quality, you know, low shelf stuff. But as far as cheap tequilas go, it doesn't give you a hangover and also doesn't taste that bad. This is the stuff that I used when I worked at the bar and I got a lot of compliments on it. We're like, hey, what are you guys slinging behind that bar? What's your like house tequila? Oh, it's called Salsa. Really? Because that's good. Like, yeah, it's like $9 a shot. They're like, that's cheap as fuck. I'm like, well, not for a hotel bar, it isn't. <laughs> all right, we're gonna give this a quick stir to combine these ingredients in the bottom here. And once we got that all stirred together, it's got this nice, it's this nice orange color to it. I love that. Uh, we need to pour over just a little bit of our Sprite Cranberry. Yeah. To get that uh, carbonation going so we don't lose it. And then we throw the ice in. We're gonna fill this up with ice. Top it up, garnish it, and then it is ready to serve. Now, preferably, I would I would use a long spear of ice here. Um, I, I just don't have a way to make any and don't have a way to get any. So the next best alternative is measuring your cup and knowing how many small, like regular household ice cubes you can use to fill in that space. That or just fill it up with pebble ice, one of the two. And then we'll top with our Sprite aiming off the ice as best as possible to keep it from sitting on top, though that does give it kind of a nice ombre, doesn't it? And then we'll uh, we'll discuss garnishes as well. Let's get got a garnish and drink for it to be done. Come on. For garnish, we're gonna go ahead and take a line and we're gonna get the full wheel and throw that directly onto the lip. One more quick step, because it wouldn't be a uh, Shirley Temple without them. We need some Maraschino cherries. This is about the only place I will give you explicit permission to use the cheap bright neon red Sunday cherries because it's a Shirley Temple. They're kind of made famous by those cherries. <laughs> Maybe those cherries are made famous by that cocktail. I don't know. Maybe it's the other way around. I'm actually going to do just one cherry here today. I'm going to just pierce that straight through that line and rest the cocktail pick on the rim. And there you have it, a Naughty Shirley. Ah, that looks really good. <laughs> I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Let's go ahead and give this a sippy sip. I'm gonna also give it just a quick gentle stir to combine. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> so that tequila is nice and loud in there. Blanco tequilas tend to be very sharp and noticeable. No exception here. But what's fascinating is alongside that that uh, grenadine and the Sprite with that lemon juice, it's got this acidic grapefruit note to it. It tastes like a Paloma, actually. And might I say, not a half bad Paloma, because it's almost like a grapefruit that has gone closer to an orange somehow, the crossbreed between the two. 
And, and I don't know how that's happening with the flavor synthesis we're providing here. Maybe it's the fresh grenadine with the, with the, you know, the lime juice and then the cranberry flavor from the Sprite. But, oh man, that is fascinating. Oh man, that is good. I really do like that a lot. Ooh. But that is so delicious. It, it's stunningly balanced, actually. I say that it's sweet candy, candy in the glass, and for me, that's this is so I, I like very, very dry drinks. I cannot stress that enough. Red wine and neat whiskey. But for regular people, <laughs> this is like right up right up reality. It's bright and refreshing. It isn't it isn't like that heavy sweetness you get with like baked goods or something like that. It's way, way better than you would ever think it would be. Ah, oh, dude, that's so good. Would this work with roses? Absolutely not. It would not. <laughs> the cheap, kind of like cherry, vaguely berry flavor of roses grenadine is is not going to taste like this is. It will make it more red, which I mean maybe you want, but it's not gonna taste the same. It won't be as as good, it just won't be. It, the Rose's Grenadine is crap. Go to the store, buy some pomegranate juice, the palm, for example, you can find that. Make some grenadine and then make this, because this is awesome. If you're having a Christmas party this season, this is 110, oh, I'm gonna cherry juice all over me. This is 110% going to please people. And if you're smarter than I am, remember to pick up straws at the store. Oh man, I love that. I love this drink, oh my god. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of 25 Drinks of Christmas. Day 17. <laughs> we, made, we made it 17 days, can you believe that? 17 days of drinks, a different drink every single day. That's crazy. <laughs> and I wanna thank you all again for watching, all of those of you who have been watching and leaving likes and stuff. It's really appreciated and I want you to know that I see you and I, I, I do appreciate you, so. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. You have a great day. Bye-bye.